throughout our lives, our brains make connections and break connections based on the activity that they receive, the information from the environment. And when we age, our ability to do that decreases. And with that comes learning and memory impairments. What I'm interested in is trying to understand how these connections are lost during the aging process. If we can understand how these are lost, then we can perhaps prevent the start of diseases like Alzheimer's disease. One aspect that I'm really interested in is hormones and how hormones affect processes of neuroplasticity, so how the connections are formed, and um, learning and memory. And we know, for example, in women, that when women go through menopause, when they lose the ability to produce estrogen, um, they, they lose their memory. A lot of women have memory problems when they go through menopause. And that specific event in a woman's life makes women have twice the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease than men. For many, many years, people have thought that it was simply the loss of estrogen that causes problems. And what we've discovered is that there is a hormone that is really not studied with regards to the brain. Um, it's called luteinizing hormone. And it's not studied because it's produced in the pituitary gland and it's released in the bloodstream and it triggers the production of estrogen. Um, so what we've uh, learned is that luteinizing hormone is actually critical in the process of memory loss during menopause. And not only have we discovered that, but we've discovered that um, in the brain there's receptors for this hormone and the hormone is actually produced in the brain. So we wanted to dissect, is it the loss of estrogen or is it the increase in luteinizing hormone that's causing cognitive problems, right? So we used a drug that lowered the levels of luteinizing hormone. So when we lowered these levels, peripheral levels, with this drug, the neurons start growing dendrites. And dendrites are the little spines that um, sprout out from the nucleus to connect with other cells. So we have found that lowering these levels improves cognitive function and it increases the amount of spines. So it makes sense that if you have more spines and more information getting through, um, that your memory function improves. The brain is the most amazing organ in our body. It's incredibly complicated, so there's nothing more challenging than try to figure it out. Um, and we work hard at it, we're getting better at it, but I think we're only scratching the surface.